I got to ask this question this morning. How can I create a group email so that on a weekly basis or as often as I want to, I can send an email to that group of people without typing their email addresses in over and over and over again? And I'm going to show you how to do that in Google Contacts. But before I do, hit that subscribe and notify button because I create all this content for you. So I'm in my Gmail. This is Gmail or Google Workspace. It doesn't make any difference. If I go to create a new email message, when I go, and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so I can see it, when I create a new email message, I have to start typing email addresses in, typing names or whatever, and sometimes that can be tedious. I can make this less than tedious. Let me show you an idea that you may want to consider. Go back to my Google Contacts. Now I'm hiding all the email addresses and phone numbers so you can't see them, but here's my Google Contacts. You see I have 15 in this testing account. Now, if I want to send an email message on a weekly basis to five people, instead of typing their email addresses, here's what I'd recommend you do. First of all, create a label. I've got one right here. Let me create a new label. I'm going to call it testing. Okay, I'm going to hit save. So you can see I have this new label called testing. Now, I want to put people into that label. Labels, by the way, is just another way of referring to a group of email addresses that are labeled together. I'm going to select five names from my list right here. Let me get those. And there are five. These are the five people I want to send an email message to every day in this group called testing. I select these five. I hit this label button. I hit testing. I hit apply. Now you can see over here that these are all labeled with testing. That's all I got to do. Now let's go back to the email message. Create a new email message. I'm going to make this big so we can see it. So how do we do this? There's two ways. Number one is I can click on two and bring up my contacts. I'm hiding the email addresses so you can't see them. Click on my contacts. Click on testing. And then I once I bring these up, select all and then insert. And it'll insert them directly into the to box for this email message. But there's another way of doing this. Let me hit the X. Instead of clicking on two and going looking for them, I can just type in testing, look just TES, and there's five members. And I can select those five members and drop them. Let me do it and see what happens. And drop them into this email um, um, box for two. And by the way, if I want to send and do the same thing, I can do. By the way, I'm gonna get rid of these. I can do the same thing for CCC. Type in test, and I can add those five members, or get rid of that. I can uh, the BCC. I can type in test and put them in there. By the way, here's a big alert. If you're sending out an email message to a group of people who may not know each other, I strongly encourage you to use the BCC line. That way, everybody is not going to see that these people got that email message and they're not going to be able to reply all to everyone. Strongly encourage you again to use BCC anytime you send a group message out so that you basically hide the email addresses of everyone who got that email message. Google Contacts and Labels is the number one way that you can send a group message out to uh, lots of people at once the easiest way possible. I'm Teddy, Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. Hope this is helpful for you.